All right, so when you're dealing with nuclear reactions, um, you're dealing with the things inside the, the nucleus. So with protons and neutrons is what we're talking about mostly. And so um, sometimes when the protons, where too many protons are in the nucleus, uh, it becomes really, really, really unstable and it's going to want to actually release those, those protons. So when does that happen? All nuclei with more than, more than 83 protons in the nucleus decay spontaneously. So they're actually going to automatically, without even doing anything, start releasing those protons and neutrons to make it smaller and a much more stable nucleus. So um, let's look at polonium. Um, not only does pl polonium right now, if you look at the proton neutron to proton ratio, it's actually okay. For higher atomic numbers, 84 is relatively high. 1.5 uh, ratio for neutrons to protons is actually pretty okay. However, um, we have 84 uh, protons within our nucleus. Not okay. Too many. So what's going to happen is it's going to release a helium atom, a helium nucleus. So it's going to release two protons and two neutrons to try and get that back down to something a little bit more stable. Um, and it's going to end, in this particular reaction, it's going to end up as lead 82. It's going to transmutate um, from polonium to lead. Um, and let's look at the uh, neutron to proton ratio for lead. This is 1.51. It might continue to decay. This actually is a little bit high. Uh, it's not crazy high, but a little bit high. So it might de continue to decay because it's high. It might go into beta decay, but um, this might be this this might be stable uh, enough to stay where it is. So um, notice also when you're dealing with nuclear reactions that the mass numbers have to equal if we're going to continue. If we're going to say this arrow as an equals number. Uh, 210 is equal to 206 plus 204, and 84 is equal to 82 plus, 80 plus 2. So um, when you're dealing with uh, nuclear reactions, make sure that your mass numbers equal up and make sure that your atomic numbers equal up also. But anything with the proton, with proton over 83 is going to decay automatically, and that's called alpha decay. It's going to release an alpha particle.